Welcome to a Nova Minerals Estelle Gold Project update where we are developing North America's next major gold trend in Alaska. Gold trend being the operative words there with the very large scale, district scale nature of the project. And this presentation is complementary to the recent news release of RPM results. Uh, and we will be discussing those results as well as how that fits in and how the larger project is shaping up. And zooming right in to the 450 square kilometer land package uh, that represents the Estelle Gold Project along the Estelle Gold Trend, where we are now seeing decades of opportunity with the potential for multiple mining centers across the single project. In the north, the north mining center uh, centered around the Corbell main deposit. And in the south, the jewel in the crown, uh, the RPM deposit, where we have the potential for the South Mining Center. Also in between, exploration success, of course, at the train prospect, also in the South area near RPM. Another massive intrusive related gold system seems to be developing there. And as well as the Stony prospect, polymetallic, high grade gold, high grade silver, and high grade copper at uh, the Stony Prospect. And then numerous other uh, prospects, over 20 at various stages of advancement. So we're really, what this is developing is we're really unlocking the district, unlocking the Estelle Gold Trend. And we have surveyed the access to these various deposits and prospects. And we're looking to establish that access as we move forward with a road system. To access the Northern Mining Center, uh, of course, this was the, folk, the basis of our initial phase one scoping study there centered around Corbell, Maine, and upside remains there with, of course, one to point out is the Cathedral Prospect, which we have now drilled and uh, will include in the upcom upcoming resource update. And now with moving to the south with uh, RPM, really starting to grow and the ex further exploration success we've had down there in the south at train looking to drill that as soon as possible next year to establish a third resource. Uh, this looks to be uh, building the case to establish the first startup uh, mining center down south with potentially a uh, lower capex uh, smaller throughput mill there in, in the south processing this very high grade material for very quick payback uh, and then establish cash flow for the company to then branch out and open up some of these other mining centers, namely the Northern Mining Center around Corbell and also potentially uh, around, around the Stony Prospect. Our focus today is on the RPM area of interest in light of the recent results released from the drilling work, uh, the drilling programs carried out this year and how this RPM area is shaping up and how it fits into the larger project. So RPM is an exceptional high grade resource and the footprint is growing now with RPM North, RPM South, and those two areas con connecting. This is building a very strong case for a Southern mining center where we would start for an early payback. Uh, that's with the high grade nature of that, that would be initially a reduced plant size, likely lower CapEx, uh, but with the same production profile uh, in terms of ounce production. The geological observations there at RPM indicate that the RPM North and the RPM South zones are genetically linked, uh, similar, uh, the same mineralized intrusive system, and those two zones are connecting now. So that expands the footprint, of course. Numerous gold zones are now being identified at RPM North, at RPM South. Also, uh, in that larger second mineralized intrusive encountered in the deeper holes at RPM North, and also connecting the South, uh, several zones within that, so numerous zones. 
the focus now is on de is on is on identifying and targeting these very high grade bonanza blowout zones as uh, we initially uh, have defined now at RPM North. There is scope and and room widespread area there for more of these very high grade zones to exist, and that'll be the target of our upcoming future drilling programs. With the work we've completed this year, 30,000 meters in total across the project, this has significant scope for resource growth, not only at RPM, but also in the Corbell area, but importantly, uh, also pushing those resource into higher confidence levels into the indicated and potentially measured status there at, at, uh, at RPM. The inclusion of high-grade RPM ore in the production schedule now uh, is ex expected to have a significant positive impact on all the key economic metrics, such as the NPV, IRR, payback period. All of this will be uh, part of the upcoming phase two scoping study, which of course now includes RPM. So that, that study is well underway, and we expect to release that in the first half of 2023. RPM North. This is the jewel in the crown for the Estelle Gold Project at the moment. It's a very high grade resource. The last resource update was 1.5 million ounces at an average grade of two grams per ton. And so since that resource was released, we've drilled an additional uh, holes so a total of 38 holes to date, over 13,000 meters drilled. You can see the exceptional, spectacular intercepts that come from the RPM North Bonanza zone. 132 meters at 10.1 grams per ton within a larger intercept of 400 meters at three and a half grams per ton. That was the initial uh, hole within the Bonanza zone. And then this year's follow-up drilling, you can see uh, that these type of intercepts have been repeated. So the zone is holding up. It's a very continuous, broad, thick, high-grade zone there at RPM North. We've now defined that RPM uh, Bonanza zone over 150 meters in strike, 50 meters in width, and down to 300 meters in depth. And it remains open. We've also identified numerous additional gold zones there at RPM North with a second mineralized intrusive encountered at depth, which we'll go over some of the plans and sections. But you can see these intercepts are world-class in nature, uh, you, if not unique, certainly very rare in the world today to encounter these type of intercepts for the record books by any measure. Of course, these results will be included in our upcoming resource updates which will then form the basis of the phase two scoping study, which is now underway and to be released as soon as possible in 2023. And here, RPM North typical cross sections. You can see on the left-hand side, a mineralized intrusive. Now with the additional drilling and the additional data, we can see that that intrusive is very steep to actually south dipping and so follow-up drilling next year, we'll have to drill it in the opposite direction to chase it down dip. It remains open down dip. Uh, so there's further underground potential there, but all the deposits at, at Estelle, including RPM, are all on the surface. Uh, they were just, they're discovered through rock chip sampling. And so all can be extracted by open pit methods. And the deposit here at RPM North, is kind of a funnel shape. It broadens out on the surface and then narrows down a depth. You can see the mineralized in, uh, halo centered around that mineralized intrusive. Uh, it's very broad, very wide. And then internal to that is the bonanza zone. And you can see in some of these drillings, uh, some of these results released in the, in the most recent news release in RPM 30 and RPM 33, those drill holes are continuing uh, to produce this broad, high-grade zone at the core of the of the larger mineralized zone. Then on the right-hand side, the section uh, shows you the RPM North Bonanza zone, again, continues 
to the west there and remains open. But significantly, in RPM 037, drill hole 037, we drilled that hole a bit deeper, and now we've intercepted a second mineralized intrusive. And so the results there, 103 grams, 103 meters at one gram per ton, 79 meters at one gram per ton, including 30 meters at two grams per ton. So very typical and reminiscent of the original initial drill holes and the, and the type of results we had at RPM North. And so what we've established now is that that second mineralized intrusive is definitely mineralized. It definitely has a good grade in it. There's only a couple holes in it to date. And so that is the main target and the main focus for upcoming drilling programs. The implications for resource upside in that second mineralized intrusive is, uh, is, is massive. And speaking of resource upside, now a second zone at RPM South has also been confirmed through the drill hole, the, the drilling this year. And the results that we're getting there are also very typical of the initial drilling uh, at RPM North, similar to the SE12008 hold, which we've eventually followed up and led us to uh, discover the Bonanza, the very large Bonanza blowout zones, which we're, we've, we've now uh, uh, defined so well at RPM North. And you can see very, that second mineralized intrusive, mineralized throughout, uh, very broad intercepts in hole 23, 333 meters at 0.9 grams per ton, uh, and 94 meters at a gram included within that. And so very typical. So that, that second mineralized intrusive is very large. Uh, we've intersected at RPM south now, and we believe it connects, and we can see a connection to RPM north. Only eight holes drilled into, uh, for, into um, RPM south to date for 3,000 meters, so early days, lots of follow-up work to do there. It remains wide open in all directions. Uh, this, the core, all of our drilling, of course, is the highest quality HQ diamond core, all oriented. We can extract very good structural geological information, and what that shows us is that the mineralization and the and the and the mineralized intrusive is definitely uh, has a strong northwest orientation is definitely connecting with RPM North. So the two RPM South and North are genetically linked. It's a very lar large zone right on the surface as well uh, there at RPM South and the mineral resource updates and a maiden mineral resource for RPM South is now underway and this will also be included in our phase two scoping study. Here we have a typical cross section through the RPM South. It's showing itself to be a very broad zone of continuous gold mineralization right from the surface, on the surface. This second mineralized intrusive here is much thicker much larger than the that encountered in RPM North. So the scope and the potential for uh, more blowout zones, more bonanza zones within this uh, is, um, there's definitely potential for that. And you can see here, again, uh, the results we're, we're getting here are very reminiscent of the early holes at RPM North, which eventually led to discovery of the, of the bonanza zone. But, uh, 30, 40 meters at a gram, 94 meters at a gram within a larger intercept of 116 meters at 0.9. Uh, we've definitely established that this intrusive is mineralized and it'll form, uh, it's the main target for our upcoming uh, drilling programs in 2023. Now to tie the RPM area, tie it all in together. So you can see here, uh, at RPM North, we have very close space drilling now, and we believe that that drill spacing will provide some measured resources in the upcoming resource update. That bonanza zone there at RPM North, where we've encountered those just spectacular intercepts over and over again consistently through those drill holes, is uh, 
very well defined now. And importantly, you can see in RPM 037, we've drilled some deeper holes and we've intersected the second mineralized intrusive there at, at our RPM North. And so to understand and put this into context, uh, I'll take you down to RPM South where the drilling results now have also been returned and confirmed broad continuous mineralization. Uh, the, the oriented drill core we have there shows a strong northwest orientation to the mineralization as well as the mineralized intrusive hosting that mineralization. And so what that means is it connects, RPM South connects up with the deeper holes at RPM North. And so that opens up now over 600 meters of strike length between RPM North and RPM South of high priority target area. And you can see the size of the RPM North Bonanza zone. Uh, easily you can fit these type of, the, this, these size Bonanza zones within that widespread over 600 meter strike length area between RPM North and South now. Perhaps one large Bonanza zone uh, within that mineralized intrusive. And so that area between RPM North and RPM South is our highest priority, highest rank target for next year. We will be committing up to four diamond rigs to drill that area out and further expand and further prove up and hopefully for, discover further high-grade Bonanza zones uh, at RPM. Massive implications uh, for resource upside and uh, and um, uh, uh, project produ ultimately production an ounce production through the project and really building the case for that south mining center uh, centered around RPM as it's only uh, the the plant site area there that we envision is only a few kilometers from RPM so a very short short haul. This photo is looking south. Uh, across RPM, and you can see the mineralized intrusive we're intercepting there at RPM North, as well as the second mineralized intrusive we're intersecting at RPM South. That's the kind of orange, tan, shaded areas there, those intrusives ripping across the ridge line. And at RPM North, you can see the deeper drill holes, RPM 025, RPM 037, where we've intercepted that second mineralized intrusive that connects to RPM South. And so that you can visually see here over 600 meters of strike length that opens up uh, now as the highest priority target for next year. We'll be focusing on that area uh, there to the implications for resource up to upside are massive, uh, truly massive there in that second mineralized intrusive. But as well at RPM North, it remains open. Uh, we'll continue to step out and uh, further define that RPM North zone as well as at, uh, at RPM South there. So uh, plenty of resource up up upside and it's, this is the main priority, 90% of our efforts and our resources and our drilling will be committed to RPM next year. With that, I thank you uh, for joining us for this update on RPM and uh, the project at large. Uh, we look forward to 2023 to continue to focus on RPM to uh, release our phase two scoping study as soon as possible in 2023 and then on to PFS with uh, another very extensive drilling program planned for next year focused on RPM, um, as well as putting the first drill holes into train to establish a third resource in the south area, which will further build the case for a south mining center for early payback, potentially lower capex and lower throughput plant and build the company and the cash flow, the cash position to branch out and expand into additional mining centers from there. So thank you and look forward to the next update.